recently, a few days ago, uh, there was a woman uh, that was in love with a man. And this man was amazing. He was having, you know, great openings on the spiritual level. He was talking about many things that he has read in the books. So at the beginning, she was so in love. She said, wow, this man is the man of my life. But suddenly with time, she started to see strange things in his character. He started to be uh, intense. He started to control her. He started also to show a complex of superiority. And then eventually he started to say that he was an avatar, that he used to be in the past, uh, the Dalai Lama, that he was knowing everything about Egypt, about the pyramids, uh, that he was, uh, you know, like a very, very important soul for the planet. And she started to say to herself, what's happening to him? You know, he was so amazing at the beginning. He was so caring. He was very intelligent. He was sensitive. And how come this person is now different than the person that I met at the beginning? This is why it takes time when you meet someone. And especially in spiritual circles, we see more and more spiritual extremism that are growing right now on the planet. That's because people don't go deep enough. You know, they just want to become someone. They want to have more likes, you know. It's like a Facebook. You do something and you want to have the fast method. You want to be the top of the top. And when the ego enters in spirituality, it can break a life completely. It can create schizophrenia, psychos. And we will see that more and more growing in the new generations because it's the Facebook time and everyone wants to be known by everybody and they, they are ready to do anything to impress others. It's not like it used to be. Even therapists also are teaching wrongly spirituality. They boost the ego of people in their class. They say to all of them that they are masters and it's too fast. They have not worked on themselves. It takes many, many lives to be a spiritual master. But they are people that they don't want to wait. They don't want to work on themselves. They just want to become someone. They want to impress others. They want to have fame, renown. They want to have a diploma of a therapist that they can put on the door so they can say to everybody that they are a doctor, that they are very important. That's why doctors and psychologists and psychiatrists are warning us that we need to be careful about fake therapists, about fake spiritual teachers. There are many, many of them right now. So you can discern them when they have not worked on themselves long enough. You can discern also if they talk about uh, marriage and they have not succeeded anything with love in their life, or if they talk about children and they have so many problems with their children. So they cannot be master of something if they have not done this for themselves. That's what spirituality is all about. It's about transformation. It's about evolution, not just uh, about a facade.